We are back with our double booster box weekly shrimp of Memorial Booster. We already pulled the manga chopper, so at this point, I'm just looking for flampes and violas. And I'd love to see Brooke. I haven't seen Brooke yet. So uh, thanks for coming by and let's shrimp them. So, if you're new to the channel, if you check out my case shrimpums, I just show all the hits. But every week, I try and strip them a couple boxes here. I actually record them all at once, so you'll see me wear the same thing and I'll have the same facial hair for six weeks because I'm recording them all in the same day because I wanna open a case so that I can get my shrimpums. Bless them, we gotta bless them a pack, of course. Um, yeah, because I love to play the game and I love to have alt arts and shiny decks and bling out my stuff with uh, cool cards and you know, I have Kaizoku cards as my uh, custom card uh, Company I make cards and I really just show the last hit in each pack well, I guess I don't know. I wouldn't really consider it uh, rares to be hits, but ooh, look at that sheer Hoshi. The SRs in this set look amazing. They're just so dang good looking. But there's some really good yellow cards. Uh, I, I'm playing ST13 Luffy. That's the deck that I'm on right now, and I think it gets some really good stuff in this set, but it gets really, really good card in set seven. Because right now, the issue with the ST13 Luffy deck is you don't really have that many great targets. Sabo's an amazing card. So, you know, the, the little Sabo has a great target in the big Sabo. That Brook, Brook looks awesome also. I'd really love to see a Brook alt art. But there just aren't really fantastic targets and the deck doesn't have great removal. So, you know, you do have that five cost yellow Sabo, which does have some removal, but it's not really, you don't always have the life to trash for it. And you already have enough issues like keeping a hand size in the deck so trashing life for no reason really want to have those cards in your hand as our bond clay secret so you get eight of these in a case which is great so hopefully this will be relatively inexpensive but this card's so good especially in red purple law this card's insane it's insane in red purple luffy um it's just a really 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 good card it makes purple so much better uh having that access to that um but yeah, you really, you know, the, the five cost Egghead Luffy from set seven, that is, I am so psyched for that card. It just does so many things. It draws you a card, it does removal. It's playable off the leader effect. So even though you're not swinging with that turn, you're putting it in your trash to play it again. There's a Khalifa. So we should get one more hit in this case. I think each of these boxes has three hits, which is what we saw in the case opening. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it just really like a lot of value. The card does a lot of things. But there's some cards in this set that make the deck a lot better. So Flampe, for example, is one that really makes the deck, I think, a lot better because you're increasing hand size by drawing from your life and drawing a card. It doesn't make you trash the card. T-boned. We started the last case like this. We got T-boned right off the bat on the last case. So I'm just gonna jump into the next box. And we should get three more hits in that box because this set is awesome and getting three hits in a box is wonderful. Oh, I just got to open the Blossom just, just for the heck of Blossom. Maybe there's a cool SR in here. Eh. Kingdom Come. Is that what they call it? All right. So we got one more box. But yeah, Flampe is great because she's a 2K, which is always good. And um, she adds a life, which in that deck you have to take life because good players against SC13 Luffy, they're not going to swing into your life. So you got to be fully prepared to take your life. And she draws a card when you take a life. So she's essentially drawing you two cards in a turn, which is what Whitebeard does, which is really good. Bless him. Uh, yeah, so controlling your hand size is is really really good this laboon sr looks great also all the srs just look so freaking awesome in this set i love them i absolutely love them um and then viola also is really good so what viola does is 
you can either look at all of your opponent's life, rearrange them and put them back, which is really good against decks that arrange their life. Um, and the other effect that she has is she reorder or she flips your face up life cards face down, which is so good for Luffy. There's another Boncle, which is so good for SD13 Luffy because when you do the leader effect, your life cards go into your life face up and then, oh, Buruk! All right, hold the phone. That is sick. That is a completely sick card. Wow. Oh my God. What an insanely cool card. And it's a strong card also. On play when attacking, give up to one of your opponent's characters minus one cost this turn, then KO one of your opponent's cost characters with a cost of zero. So it's just a three cost, but it, it gets you pretty good value. And I think it does something with Laboon. I forget what Laboon does, but if we see another one, we'll, we'll read Laboon. I think they work together. Um, but yeah, since Viola can flip face up life cards face down, she essentially makes it so that the cards in your life can go back into your hand because Luffy's effect is that uh, he has a permanent that says all face up life cards go to the bottom of your deck instead of going to your hand. So unless you're trashing the life off of some effect, it'll go to the trash, but you don't get cards back in your hand that are face up and the effect puts the cards in the trash face up. So Viola is really great and Viola is a blocker. So, the, you know, it's just a card that has a lot of value printed on it. Um, same with Flampe and same with the set five or set seven, five cost Luffy. I am, I am so insanely hyped for that Luffy. Chopper, Tony, Tony, our boy. I just need, I need a book full of those. Uh, but we're still going to have one more alt art in here. There will be. It's either going to be an alt art or an alt art leader. And Flampe, I need Flampe's. I need three more Flampe's. I open one in the case and I need three more for my play set. So I got to have it. And can we pull it? is the question. The art on Flampe also is probably one of my favorite art styles. And it just looks so good. We got a couple packs left. Can we strip it? Can we strip him a Flampe? But there's so many. I mean, also a viola. I need two more violas. But there's so many good looking alt arts in this set. Even Cavendish, you know? I'm not a big fan of pulling Cavendish cards, but that Cavendish alt art looks really good. There it is. See? When you talk about him, he comes out. He's like, oh, are people talking about me? Again, I guess I'll just come over here with this rose in my mouth and all these bubbles. Anyway, that's just stripping for this week. Thanks for coming by. I'm a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be make sure to be brushing your teeth twice a day. You probably heard this before. At night, it's actually more important because the food that sits on your teeth throughout the day that you eat sits on your teeth at night and then those that food attracts bacteria. The bacteria produce acid and the acid breaks the tooth structure down and creates cavities. So make sure you're brushing your teeth twice a day. In the morning, you want to get that film off of your teeth so that you can uh, get back to a good baseline and you're not accumulating as much throughout the course of the day. See you all in the next one.